get you to breathe. Let this thing go. Release it from your system. And remember, in this very moment, that all you have is all you need. How is it that we unlock our futures and let go of the trauma and let go of the betrayal and let go of the heartache and the challenges and the mountains and the giants and every disappointment and every failure. How is it that we are able to walk away from the past? And one of the first things we have to understand is that I gotta acknowledge that I may be dealing with a measure of depression. I may be dealing with the spirit of heaviness. Some of us are not willing to acknowledge that we are depressed. And when I unpack depression, deep rest, that we are resting in a state of paralysis where we can't move, we're stuck, we're stagnant, and we're stationary. Today, I let the past go. Today, I'm moving on. Number one, I'm acknowledging that I've got some challenges in my present and they derive from my past. This is more than an invitation to the future. This is a command to leave your past behind. This is a charge to you in this moment to let it go. You gotta let it go. What did not work out? Who was not present? Who did not support you? Who hurt you? Who caused you to go into a state of depression and anxiety and defeat? Who exposed you to things at an early age? Who opened up doors to insecurity? The people who bullied you, the people who did not see you, the people who undervalued you, the people who were present for a moment but then left you for dead. I gotta let it go. If I want to be free in my present and in my future, I gotta let it go. And so I am aware of what happened to me. I am aware of the trauma. I am aware of the betrayal. I am aware that I am downtrodden and I am battered and broken and weary and tired and I'm stuck in a place of autopilot where I don't even know what tomorrow looks like. I'm not even free enough to dream about the future. I'm so broken from my past. If you want breakthrough, then this must be your moment of release. When you say, Marcus, how do I release? I need to acknowledge what happened to me. I need to acknowledge what they did, what they said, what they did not do, how they lied, how they punctured, how they fractured, how they stepped and stomped on the hope that was in me, how they let me down, how now I've got diminished expectations. But now I'm going to release it. I want this thing off my back and out of my system, purged from my heart. I don't want to think about it anymore. I don't want to meditate on it anymore. I want the light and the brilliance and the fire of my future. I want the hope of a new beginning. I'm letting this thing go. If you want to be released, then release it now. And the only way you're going to release is if you forgive them for the things that were done to you, not done for you, sin about you. Forgive yourself from all the mistakes you have made. And when I come on, this is your time to release. This is your time to release, to let it go. What happened to you? What was said about you? What they did, what you did, has taken up too much real estate in your mind. Rent free. And so what happens is when we meditate on the past, when we meditate on what is behind us, it takes up real estate in our present. And if we remain off kilter and fractured and beaten and broken in the present, then we have no future. And so one of the next things you're gonna to have to do is that once you're aware of this state, that you are stuck and stationary and that you live a stagnant type of lifestyle. I'm understanding the trauma effects on my brain and how it changed my behavior. It changed my perspective. I understand what happened to me and I cannot change it, but I can change how I feel about it. Your greatest move, your best response is to let it go. 
It is to set your ego and your pride aside for the sake of your future. Just forgive them. Let it go. Release from your spirit. It's time to let it go and move on. The present is a gift and the future is waiting. The question is, will you let go of your past? Be grateful for the clothes on your back and the roof on your head. Even if you're in a homeless shelter, even if you're in a prison, even if you're in the hospital right now, even if you're in transition, sleeping on somebody's couch, be grateful. Be grateful that you are living. Be grateful that you are breathing. Seize the opportunity. The time is now. There are far, far better things ahead than anything we have left behind. In order for us to have a new beginning, there must be an ending. And we've got to be okay with it. Entrances and exits, beginnings and endings. Many of you, most of you, desire, long for a new beginning. To begin again, before you were hurt, to feel again, to cry tears of joy. The you before you were exposed at an early age, the you before you had to grow up too soon, the you before the loss, the you before the death, of a loved one, the you before you were fired, the you before you were hurt, the you before they left you, the you before they abandoned you. Who were you before you were hurt? What if you could go back to the very moment you were hurt, you were let down, they left you, you lost them, and you could be that person again, and you can grow from that place. This is where we should desire to be. This is the gift and the power of the present and the fire of the future. Every moment wasted looking back keeps us from moving forward. Stop wasting your precious present moments. You're gonna have to normalize not holding a grudge. You're gonna have to normalize not hating people that hurt you. You're going to have to normalize forgiveness. Evaluate your circle of influence. Be grateful for the people you have now. Sometimes the hardest part isn't that we can't let go of the past. It's the fact that we don't know how to begin again. And this is why we need forgiveness. And this is why we need healing. And this is why we need to release. And this is why we have to let it go. If you're listening to me and you're tired of living and you're ready to pull the trigger and you're ready to let it go, I just need you to know that hopelessness and depression is not stronger than the possibility of beginning again. The sufferings from your past, and even the present moment, is not worthy to be compared with the glory, come on, that shall be revealed in all of us. That revelation is my anchor to the ground and my hope for a future. And so this is why I can press toward the mark I can press toward the future. I can press for it. I can fight for it. I can build again. I can create again. I can believe again. I can forgive one more time. I can let it go. I can evolve. I can grow. This is my opportunity for metamorphosis and evolution. This is my opportunity for growth, for expansion. The more I release, the more I can become. And the more I become, the more I can attract. What is it that has not been attracted to you when I understand who I am and where I am? I position myself for attraction. This ain't about the law of attraction. This is about dealing with me first and the dream that God has given me and the purpose and everything else will be added. You are alive for a reason. I can choose to forgive. I can choose to let go. I can choose to believe. I can choose to dream. I choose to be free. Be not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So forgive, release, and in some cases restore with a new title and a new assignment to punch through a bigger target. And so don't be so quick to amputate everybody out of your life that hurt you in your past. Because if an item can be repurposed, then so can a person. Whatever you can't let go of, whatever you can't get over, you have made it an idol. 
And it simply means that you love it or them more than you love yourself. The question I want to ask you is, how bad do you want your future? The truth is, some of us prefer familiar sufferings because we are afraid of the unknown. And for many of you listening to me, joy and peace and abundance and the fullness of life is so unknown. It is so uncharted that you are afraid to release. You are afraid to let go. But today is the day you decide you come to the resolve. I need you to concentrate your mind on the power of the present and the brilliance of the future. Let me tell you something, amputation without forgiveness is like a virus. Marcus, what are you saying? This means that if you try to go away, if you try to move from it, if you try to get a new area code and a new zip code and a new career, that's just busyness. That's artificial significance. You gotta forgive this person because going away and changing your zip code and changing your area code and trying to get a new career and marrying somebody else is not going to take the pain away because you are running from you. You gotta look in the mirror and you gotta decide. I forgive myself for the mistakes I made. I forgive the people for what they did. Everybody wants new but don't want to become new. It's time to become new. It's your time, it's your turn to live a life of abundance in the fullness of joy and peace and fire and passion and resilience. This is your time. Make this your moment to no longer be a prisoner of the past. For the past is not your prison. The past is your platform to build what it is that you were placed in this world to build. Release your brilliance. Release the idea. Step out. Launch it. Build it. Create it. Imagine it. The time is now.